Hi guys, the FM Kaffa here. Welcome to episode 4 of Road to the World Cup with Fiji. Um, now today we've got a Cook Islands friendly for you guys today, which is the only scheduled fixture that the national team it currently has. Um, so yeah, it might be the might be the last for a while. Um, Cook Islands have a couple of actual players. I think that's six. Um, a lot of which play in the lower leagues of New Zealand. Nikau is, and yeah, this guy plays for. Oh yeah, okay. So Nikau, the best team in Cook Islands, and I think they like win Cook Islands Round Cup every time and qualify for the like first stage of the Champions League um, each time. So yeah. As you can see, yeah, they're the best or the second best team in Cook Islands. Um, so yeah, we should beat them. They're two hundred and third in the world ranking. We, as a nation, are one hundred eighty eighth, which is pretty low for Fiji. If we look at. Does it have a history? Um, uh, nations. Does it have history? Yeah. Um, overview. Okay. So yeah, we've been. And actually, we've been yeah quite. Oh, this is between 2014 and 2015. So yeah, that's not really a good judge, but yeah, we have been much higher as a nation. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be my team today. It doesn't quite fit in. That's why some of the players are a little down. Like Tiro Katini, he play, he he can play attacking midfield, left, centre, and midfield. And Penny for now can play defensive midfield. But I wanted to keep it with a flat 4-4-2. Um, so yeah, again, it's just it's just the same as the same as the. Um, like normal 442. I'm gonna put on go route one because that is very useful in the Pacific. Um, so yeah, pump ball into the box as well. Uh, not that close down much uh, more and get stuck in. So yeah, there are the only four instructions. I want to keep it simple um, because yeah, you don't get a lot of training time with these sort of players. Um, I'm gonna put that on support. Uh, yeah, rather than automatic. No, haven't done that right. Um, so yeah, that's what I want. Send him into support. Um, so yeah, that's good. Uh, so yeah, this is the team I'm going to go with. So Epili Kodro in goal. He's my barkeeper. Um, Avanesh Shawami at right back. I think he's another one that plays for Bar. I think actually, yeah, these all these four play for Bar. Tekiati, Remureru Tekiati, and Radike Ulayasi Sarubatu. Um, at the centre back, Shannon Lal at left back, Arif Khan on the right, Taniela Taniela Waka, um, and Penny Fanau in the middle of midfield, Iliesa Tawakatini on the left, and the uh, two yeah two best players, Asia Vakitelsa, most importantly Roy Krishna, um, up front. Benches yeah, m you know what, I'm not gonna say the bench because it'd take me too long, um, but yeah, uh, we'll just put him there because he's a goalkeeper. Um, and yeah, we'll submit the team. So this will be a good indication as to how Fiji can do and yeah, how their best team performs against a fellow oceanic nation. I'll try to get some friendlies in with some Asian teams. I know you can, like Indonesia and Singapore, as long as they're nearby. Um, then the border's willing to like travel that far. Um, but yeah, so that should be good to test us against some other nations. Maybe Australia as well, but I, I've tend to done that in, part in the past and uh, they haven't accepted usually. But yeah, so here we go. Cook Islands versus Fiji. Twenty-five minutes in, not a lot's happened so far. I'm gonna pause the game, say calm, encourage, uh, calmly say encourage, and yeah, it doesn't look to be a lot happening. Um, but yeah, first highlight here it is. Kodro looking for Krishna. Wacker will get there. Up to Krishna. Krishna plays it to Vakatilasau. Comes to Arif Khan. Krishna one 0 Fiji lead in our first ever game as full national squad manager. Um, yeah, it was a good good play between Krishna and back to the south for the first chance. Khan then recovered it, played it back to Krishna, who yeah, passed past the keeper pretty easily with his professional footballer status. Should have been easy for him. And here he goes with another chance. He puts it just wide. Good play from Asiya back to the south again there. Swami now Khan Krishna Oh Krishna having loads of opportunities. They haven't had a highlight until the forty third minute and then they have three in a row with Krishna having chances. Um, but yeah, here it goes, through to half time, 1 0. So things are going well, but I know you're capable of even better. Um, Penny for now, the captain, is slightly injured. Um, so I'll bring on Josiah Bakalaidi. We've recently signed him for Bar. He, he is, yeah, he's quite a good player for this level. If we just get a look at reports, that he's quite, yeah, he's very good. Um, so yeah, we'll put him on there. Um, and yeah, we'll go to the tactics. Actually, I. 
this might work. So if we put put him there, him there. Um, so it's sort of a. Uh, can we put him there? We sort of do like a. That, that that might work. I don't know. No, no. We'll put it back to what it was. Yeah, there. So it's sort of like um an asymmetric four four two. So we're playing Bukalidi, tag midfield left, and then whack a defensive midfield left. Or no, I could just yeah do it into diamond. That's much easier. I don't know why I didn't do that the first time, but yeah. So that's what we're gonna do. Bring Penny for now off. Put Josiah Bukalidi in, and yeah, play this kind of formation. Um, chance here for Cook Islands. Heather gets it in, and second time round, and they scored as an own goal. Wow. After yeah, playing very well in the first half, we have conceded an equaliser. Got the first one away, but yeah, Heather plays it in. Okay, that didn't go anywhere near any players. Wow. Um, yeah, the match engine really failing on that. But yeah, um, another injury here. Joan Vezaluka can come on for Saruva too. Um, might as well make other changes. I think you make up to six as it's a friendly. Was he in Nabunu? He scored a load of goals for us in Bath. Um, so we'll bring him on for Asia back to us out. Um, Joan Bono? No. Hmm. Just saying. Um, yeah, we'll leave it like that for now, but yeah, we can make some further subs later. So we've made two subs, so three overall so far. Um, so yeah, we're looking to get the win, I'll say assertively, to Ardmore, as they have another chance here. Silla, cleared away by Tekiati, Roy Krishna. Um, I was thinking about taking him off, or I see a back to the south. I chose back to the south because Krishna just has some star quality. And yeah, I'm sure that was a good decision as Nabeno, who's in top form for Bar. It's Josiah Bukalidi now into Krishna. Krishna turns and fires at home. 2 1. Roy Krishna. Ah, oh, I love this player. I actually have him on FIFA Auto my team, <laughs> believe it or not. And yeah, I won't sell him, but despite the um, um, people telling me to, like my friends and stuff. Uh, but we've got an injury to Nambino, so we're going to have to substitute the substitute. Toma is a very good player for Bar as well. Yeah, Verisa Toma. Um, his report is really good. Um, I don't know whether it's the Bar report or this Fiji report, but yeah, I don't. I, I think that's Fiji. I should know. I should know. Is that our staff? No, it's not. Okay, so that's the Bar report. So yeah, he is, he is um star player for most national league sides, which is pretty good. Um, as you know, I think a lot of our players are called the star player, but yeah, it doesn't matter. Here is Elias Tawakatini through to Toma, and he's missed the target there. But we do lead still. Another chance here, possibly Bukalidi into Wacker into Arif Khan, who doubles our advantage, makes it 3 1, and rounds off the scoring here in this friendly. And yeah, it looks like we're going to win this 3 1. So yeah, Wacker played it into Arif Khan, and yeah, that's a good finish across the goalkeeper. No chance for Mu in the um, Kakan's goal. But yeah, this looks this looks like it's going to be the final highlight. It is so at Terriora National Stadium in Cook Islands, we managed to get the victory. A very nice victory. Well done. People look delighted and extremely delighted. That's yeah, quite nice. And um, yeah, a couple of injuries, but that doesn't matter. So yeah, Penny for now is one of the players I really want to sign him. Okay, this is the first time he has been willing. Okay, well great. We've now signed the great player. Him and the only other one that is similar to him is Peter Bela Toga. Um, yeah, so he plays for Labasa. Uh, you may remember him from... Okay, now he wants to sign too. Okay. Maybe it's because we've just done so well. So yeah, I'll show you the bar fixtures now. Just so you can have a quick look. Hasn't been many actually. Only the first... What is that? Seven games of the season plus the Community Shield that kind of thing. But that is... That's half the season because you only, you only play 14 games. Um, so yeah, in the first half of the season we have... Um, one, two, three, five wins. One draw and one loss. So yeah, beaten... Uh, yeah, what you can see results i'm not going to go through them individually but yeah as you can see there's quite a lot of high scoring affairs and we've dominated most games that super game was just i don't know what happened um matthew Donadamu is what we have we've made a lot of friends out of. Just, just, yeah you just you just have to scoop up all the talent on the island or the two islands or well the two major islands um so yeah it looks like we're going to get better toga and penny foul in for now in in now so that's pretty good just before the champions league games we've got champions league games next um yeah, the O League in Group B with Air Stefano, which are Tahitian, Tafea, which I think. Are they the. They are the Vanuatu. Uh, I don't know what's Vanuatu win. And to Papa, I think they're the Kakans guys, yeah, that we just saw. So yeah, to Papa Mararanga Kakans, so they should be the fourth seeds, I'm guessing. Um, Tafana are the second seeds, and Tafea. I don't know. Uh, actually, no, I'm guessing we're the first seeds. So yeah, I don't know where Tafana 
and Tafia. Very similar names, but yeah. Um, so yeah, we've got them next, and then hopefully through to the semi-finals, because we should do because of that group. We have the easiest group. We have no uh, New Zealand side, Team Wellington and Auckland City um, in the other groups. So hopefully um, we'll get through that. Amakale, I assume we'll get through alongside Auckland City, because um, yeah, Amakale are, I'd say, along with Fiji, the best team outside New Zealand in Oceania. Um, but yeah, back to the international score. We've had a under-20s friendly, so I think I'll just bring you that. Um, so yeah, it was, it was against Tahiti. It was yesterday, I think, in game. Yeah, it was. Um, so yeah, Kushal Hugus getting one and Epal Asali getting two. Um, but yeah, they were both in the first half. We were winning 3 2, but yeah, then they scored two second half goals through David Batuf. And yeah, it was hard to um, do anything after that. So yeah, still no word on the under 20 World Cup. I don't, I don't know what's happening there. Um, but yeah, we'll be hoping to be in it because that'd be a really, really good, fun experience. In the real thing, Fiji did astoundingly well. They actually beat Honduras under 20s 3 0. Um, but yeah, they didn't get through because Uzbekistan beat them. But yeah, if they'd have got a draw against Uzbekistan in the final group game, they would have got through, which would have been absolutely amazing. I was following them very intently. Fiji, as you might not might know by now, are yeah like my favourite nation. Outside England, actually, I said they're better than England in my mind. Um, obviously not actually because they'd obviously lose a match against each other. But yeah, they're just in my mind. So yeah, this is where I'm gonna round up the round up the episode, guys. Sorry if I've missed anything. I'm sure I have. Um, but yeah, it's fun, it's fun in uh, Fiji because you have like three different tournaments that are exactly the same, which is the FA Cup, which is this, um, then the Inter-District Championship, the Battle of the Giants. So yeah, we have a potential for a domestic quintuple, which is probably going to happen, um, having won the Community Shield against Nardi 3-0. Um, yeah, possibly a sextuple or whatever it is, um, if we win the O-League as well, but that's doubtful. I'd say we'll probably get as far as until we play a New Zealand representative um, yeah we'll see how that goes so yeah we'll round off um, the episode here guys the next time I'll be with you is probably any time whether that under 20 World Cup thing is happening it'll probably be then if it's that but otherwise it'll probably just be the next friendly I'll look to arrange it for a couple of friendlies now um, so yeah the next time we could is in um, is in June so yeah I'll say like the nearby teams can you well okay doesn't do that um but yeah we'll look here so any teams like um chinese taipei maybe taiwan that's quite they're quite close to is that a possibility um well we don't know yet until they accept it so yeah after that we'll do indonesia if we can find them and then singapore because they're usually the ones choose malaysia i guess we could try them or just yeah just do a load of these for all of these kind of nations um so yeah singapore if we can find them it's kind of hard to pick them out uh, Indonesia, Singapore, Laos. I guess we could try. They're in um, they're in Southeast Asia. So yeah, I'll just carry on with this off camera. So yeah, I'll round up the episode, guys. Um, here. Hope you've enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Uh, comment if you have any questions, and definitely hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. I've been the FM Gaffer, and I'll see you guys next time.